Hey guys, it's Tamara. I am coming to you with something a little bit different today. I am doing a clothing haul. So I spent some time this weekend shopping at thrift stores and consignment stores, and I picked up a few things um, and I just wanted to share with you guys. I am by no means an expert at uh, secondhand clothing shopping. I don't have a lot of experience doing that, but uh, I am just coming out of like my size 18 jeans are getting to be a little big and some of my size 16s fit and I have a lot of size 16 jeans but nothing after that like I have nothing smaller than a size 16 I've never been anything smaller than a size 16 in like since high school so um, I'm kind of freaked out about that and while I have a lot of size 16 jeans I don't have a lot of size 16 I have none except for the excuse me, except for the ones that I just bought any like work pants. Um, and then also a lot of my tops are getting really big and blousey and I've been picking up a few like extra large and large shirts here and there as I find good deals on things. But by and large, I do not have a lot of tops. Um, so I thought that I would take my free weekend with no kids and my boyfriend's been working all weekend and do some thrift store shopping. It does take a particular mood for me to be able to go thrift store shopping because obviously it takes a lot more patience than just like running to the mall because you can't just be like, oh, I like this shirt. Where's my size? It's like you have to go through every single item to find good things and it takes a lot of patience and uh, I think I found some good stuff. Uh, because I'm not very experienced, I feel like maybe I, after going to several stores, I feel like maybe I paid too much for a few things. Um, and I'm going to tell you prices if I remember, but uh, I, again, by no means am a expert. I just wanted to share with you what I got. So the first place I went is a store called Value Village. Um, I don't know, is it, I think it might be like a nationwide thing. Anyways, um, so they have a huge, there's two in Anchorage. I went to the bigger one and I was there for a freaking long time. I went through jeans, pants, skirts, dresses, and then all of the top sections except for like the t-shirts. Um, so like the knits and blouses and sweaters and blah, blah, blah. And that was the very first store I went to. And, uh, that's the place where I think it's possible I might've gotten carried away and paid too much for things or bought things that maybe I shouldn't have. So I bought some jeans in size 14 and now I'm thinking, now after having gone to the thrift store and to some consignment stores, I think it's going to be a better plan for me to wait until I'm actually getting closer to being a size 14 or actually maybe could be in a 14 and going to one of the nicer consignment stores and trying on like everything they have in a 14 because they carry, you know, like uh, designer denim. Not that I need designer denim. It's just, um, I think trying on 20 pairs of pants in a consignment store where they have nicer stuff and finding something that fits me better rather than just blindly buying things that I think look okay, but who knows how they're going to fit me once I lose the weight. Anyways, I digress. So um, this is just a little black cardigan with three quarter length sleeves and it's pretty deep in the front, um, just buttons up. It is the brand 14th and Union and I actually have the same exact sweater in a different color and obviously a different size. I purchased it at Nordstrom Rack um, and I paid six dollars for this and it's in really good shape this um it doesn't have I always look for like pilling under the arms because that's where my sweaters when I wear them you know pill um and so this is actually in really good shape I was excited to find that and then this is from Old Navy and my boyfriend that gives me such a hard time for wearing horizontal stripes but this screams nautical to me with this like wide boat neck and the white and blue stripes and it's got kind of, um, you know, it's got, it's a little bit slit at the bottom. And then I love the length of these sleeves. This probably actually would fit me meh, maybe right now. Um, so yeah, I know horizontal stripes on my biggest part of my body isn't the most flattering, but I just love this. I have some red like uh, anchor earrings and I just think it's flipping adorable. And it was uh, $6. Something else I love, and this is again something I think I just got like blinded by in the moment. I love Argyle and I love navy and mint together. And so I was just like, uh, yes, please. This is a, the brand is called Apartment 9, which 
is that a Kohl's brand? I have no idea. Um, this is a size extra large. I paid $8 for it. The reason why now that I've gotten it home, I'm like, what the hell is that it's pretty short <laughs> and I'm pretty tall. So I have no idea if this is going to end up working for me. Uh, it looks like, you know, obviously it would be too small now, but even as I lose a little more weight, it looks like maybe it's going to be too short. So, um, I am not sure this store actually, cause most, you know, like thrift or consignment stores, it's all sales are final, but this store actually will allow you to exchange things within seven days. So they won't give you your money back, but they'll allow you to bring things back for like store credit and get something else. So there's a few things that I'm like on the fence. Do I bring it back or not? Um, this is a dress and it's kind of a crochet-y, if you can see that. It's again, mint green. This is in a size 14. The brand is Roz and Alley. I paid $15 for this and I just love it. I love this color. It's a flattering fit for me being like fit and flare with the like pleating at the bottom. Um, I don't think that this sleeve situation will be flattering on me, but I'm not the kind of person that will let that stop me from wearing something that I like. So love this. Can't wait to wear it. Again, $15 might be a lot for a secondhand dress for some people from a no, I don't want to say it's a no name brand, but not a brand that I'm familiar with, but I really liked it. It came with a little belt. I don't think that I would wear the belt. So I just took that off. Um, so this is a pair of skinny jeans, but they're not really jeans. Um, they are super stretchy. I have no idea what this material is. 70% cotton, 27% polyester, polyester and 3% elastane. Um, so they're super stretchy. They're kind of a cornflower blue color. They are new with tags on. The brand is 1826 jeans. They're size 14 and they're just a skinny jeans. Um, so I didn't try these on the store because I didn't try anything that was size 14. Um, just because my size 16s are just barely fitting. Um, and I ended up trying these on when I got home and I don't love them. They just barely fit around the waist because that's always my biggest point. But they're already really loose in the thigh. So by the time they fit comfortably at the waist, they'll be even looser in the thigh. And here's my thoughts on buying second hand is that if you don't spend a lot of money on the item and then spend a little bit more to have it altered and I for a lot like a lot I have to have pants altered because just the way my body shapes I'm bigger up here than I am down here oh bonus body shot Woo! Um, so I have to you know buy pants that fit me here or here and then, you know, my skinny little legs um, with no hips or butt, I very often will have to have ta pants taken in right here because they're just generally are too big for me for the size that I have to get that will fit me in the waist. So this is, again, I think I got kind of blinded by like, oh, new with tags on. And I paid $13 for these and I already don't love them. So... That's one of the things that I'm considering taking back for like an in-store credit exchange. Um, so this is a pair of Ralph Lauren trousers. Again, new with tags on. Um, it's a size, there are size 14 and I paid $20 for them. I again, didn't try these on. I probably could just to see how, how they're gonna fit. Things that, for things that I didn't try on, I did kind of check the length because I'm tall-ish. Um, I'm not super tall, but sometimes just a regular inseam of a pant won't work for me. Um, so I did, for the things that I didn't try on, kind of try to, you know, see what the rise and the inseam would be to make sure that would work for me. Um, this is something, again, I imagine that I will have to have taken in at the hip but for a brand new pair of Ralph Lauren pants for $20 brand new with the tags on I couldn't pass it up so I picked those up another pair of jeans um, again I was blinded by the brand name of these pants so these are lucky jeans they're a size um, 14 32 so they're short. They're not long enough for me to wear, 
as a, like a, a true jean to the floor or whatever. They were $20. I'm going to be in a size 14 soon. And then the reason I justify these is I can either wear these with knee high boots that negates the fact that they're too short for me or not knowing what size my uh, boyfriend's daughter is going to end up. So she's in seventh grade and she's a size, about a size 9, 10. So I figure if I can get some use out of them, great. If not, maybe she can get some use out of them. They were lucky. They were $20. I totally got blinded by the brand name. Um, so who knows whether or not that $20 is going to be worth it or not. Um, but she is shorter. So I was like, oh, so she's short. You know, when we buy, when we buy her jeans, we do have to get a shorter inseam for her. So just thinking, you know, maybe in a few years that size will fit her. Who knows? I don't want to put that evil on her. Not that that's bad, but, um, so that's that. So this is a pair again of jeans. They are short, so they're not quite to the ankle. They are old Navy. They are stretch. So they fit me like a skinny jean. They fit me really well, um, at the waist and through the hip because they're nice and stretchy. So they really form to me. And I bought these to wear with knee high boots. So um, these will fit inside of boots and look really nice, I think. And um, they are a size 16 and I paid $5 for them. So I figure if I can get three, four wears out of these in the next month, then this $6 is gonna be totally worth it. This, again, I think I was just like too impressed with new with tags on, but I do love them. These are a pair of Massimo stretch um, ankle pants. So they are short. They are, you know, slim throughout the whole leg and then they go right to the ankle. They are hot pink, which I love. I love obnoxious pink things. Um, they're size 16. They don't quite fit me right now. I don't know that they're going to fit me because they are pretty low rise and it's just something I didn't consider. Um, I did try them on at the store and I just thought I could do something with them. They were $10 size 16. Love the hot pink. And then also I, I do consign clothes at one of the local consignment shops. So with this, some of it, if it doesn't end up working for me, hopefully I'll be able to consign it, especially if I never wear these and never take the tags off, then, you know, I can go sell them. They'll, they would probably price them for 10 bucks too. And then I would get five of that back. So it's kind of a gamble buying this stuff when it doesn't fit me at the time that I buy it, but it is what it is. Um, so the last pair of jeans that I picked up at the consignment store I'm sorry, at the that first thrift store that I went to, they are just a pair of um, kind of a medium wash bootleg um, jeans. And they're a size 16. The brand is White House Black Market, which I've never been in a White House Black Market store. I've never gone in because I never thought their stuff would fit me. And I didn't want to torture myself. Um, I did try these on at the store. They're borderline. So um, just like a lot of my size 16s, they're borderline. Um, and yeah, these were $12.99. So $13. So again, I might not end up liking these because they are fairly, I mean, they're not really low rise. I tried them on last night and I didn't love them, but maybe in another five pounds I will. You know what I mean? It's hard to say really how things are going to fit you as you start to lose weight. So that was everything I bought at Value Village yesterday. Um, I ended up spending $115 and I got three pairs of jeans, two pairs of, three pairs of jeans, two, one, two, three, four. Four pairs of jeans, two pairs of pants, that beautiful dress, and three sweaters. So I don't think that's awful. Um, I also, because I spent so much and they have like a punch card system, I have now a coupon for 30% off the next time that I go. So the next time I have a free afternoon and the energy, I will be going back and going through it again. Um, I have kind of more familiarity with the store now, and I think that I'll leave kind of jeans alone there. 
Um, like I said, I think I'm going to do the consignment store and kind of look at the nicer stuff. Whatever, whatever. I digress. Um, and then today I went to a few consignment stores and I did find a few things. So let me share with you. The first one I went to is actually the place where I can find my clothes and I found zero clothes, which I'm not, I don't know if I was just in a really picky mood today or what, or if I just didn't want to pay the prices for the things that I found. I have no idea. Um, but I did find this wallet and I actually had looked at this wallet the last time I was there dropping clothes off and they, their sales policies, all sales, sales are final. And so I hate when I buy something and I'm like, that was a total impulse buy. I did not need that. So I saw this last time I was there and I loved it. And the, here's the little bit of backstory is my boyfriend bought me a gorgeous Marc Jacobs purse this summer and it's a couple of different shades of blue and teal. And so it's been this whole thing trying to find a coordinating wallet. And we, he ended up buying me one, but it's blue. And it was like almost $300. And I just had a really hard time with that amount of money being spent on a blue wallet that I just didn't see myself getting that much use out of. And so I we went and I looked at everything else and um, I decided to keep the blue wallet but I've never moved anything into it, even when I was still using the blue bag this summer. And uh, so I still haven't taken the tags or anything off. And so when, when I saw this, I was like, oh, that would match that blue bag perfectly. It's Vera Bradley and it's consignment. I think it was, I want to say $30 when I saw it last time. And so it was still there. It was marked at $20. And I'm like, I can spend $20 on that. It looks brand new to me. And it's just got tons of room in here. And it shuts with a magnet. It's a perfect color scheme for the Marc Jacobs bag that I need a blue wallet for. So love winning. Um, and then they also gave me $20, $20, 20% off both my purchases because I used my credit that I had in store from consigning things with them. So I ended up actually only paying $18 for this wallet and I love it. The other thing I bought at this store are these little booties. So I had just told my boyfriend that I needed some black shoes with a little heel. So I have a billion flats. I'm sure you guys have seen them in the background of my videos if you are weird like me. And I have the little shoe rack thing on the door and it's, I actually have one on the front and back of my door. And then even more, and then I have a ton of heels. And I used to wear heels a lot in my former life when I was still working in customer service. And like I put more um, effort into my appearance daily, you know, being out in the public. Um, and then I worked at a reproductive health clinic and I wore dance goes and like I scrubs half the time. And then now I work in an office building where it's business casual and um, and then also putting on the weight, like who wants to walk around in four inch heels when you're 300 pounds. I did not. And I have a little bit of a uh, complex about my height. Like like I said, I know I'm not that tall. I'm 5'7", five, 5'7 seven, five, five, seven and a half. Um, but throw me up in some four inch heels and I feel like I'm gigantic. Especially when I used to like go out to the bars and stuff in my early 20s. I always feel felt like I was like towering over dudes. And I like a tall guy. So I didn't let it prevent me back then from rocking some killer heels. But uh just as I've gotten older and more practical, comfort is more important to me. So I have no like practical heels. I have like, like CFM shoes and flats. I don't have a lot of practical heels. So um, I have some work pants that, you know, some that go right and work perfectly with my flats and then some that are just a little bit um, longer and I normally wear my dance goes with them to give me you know just a little bit of height that I need for my pants not to be dragging on the ground but I just have been hating my dance goes lately they're one super beaten up um, and two like I just don't like the look of it so much anymore I think it looks a little whatever I don't like it for me for right now so I've been looking for something that's gonna give me a similar lift off the ground um, but still be comfortable so I saw these, I flippin' could not believe they were in my size. They're super comfortable. I actually wore them the rest of the day today. So it's like a little booty, but it's got the um, sling back. 
which uh, work, worked out for me. They're a brand called Born in California. And, excuse me, they were $28, but again, I got 20% off. So, love these. Um, I was wearing some jeans today that were long, and I had worn this one pair of black little heels I have and uh, that I don't, again, don't love, and they're not very comfortable. So after I bought those, I went back to my car and put them on and wore them the rest of the day. So I went to one more store. I actually went to Nordstrom Rack, but didn't end up picking anything up, even though they were having 25% off all clearance. I didn't find anything that screamed out to me. Um, and then I went to one more consignment store. And um, I had never been to this consignment store. I always thought it was kind of hoity-toity and like too fancy for me. And I didn't imagine they would carry anything in my size when I was a size 20, 22, which they don't. I didn't see anything in those sizes. But right now, you know, I'm an extra large, basically top. And, um, you know, a size 16 pant, which I didn't see a size 16 pant either, but I was shopping for 14. But I had already kind of decided I wasn't going to shop for any more jeans until I was actually in a place where I could try them on. So the few things that I bought is I did buy these size 14 pants. Um, they are J. Crew. They're stretch. They do not open, so they are just, oh, there's a zipper. There's a zipper on the side, and they're just a little cropped skinny. And these were $24, but 50% off. So they were $12. It's just going to be a basic gray pant fitted all the way down the leg wear these with booties or um, flats, heels, boots. Um, I just felt like they were really versatile and they were only $12. So I felt like even though they don't fit me right now, it was worth the risk of buying something a little smaller. And then I just got two other things. This I love. It's just a black um, like camisole or tank top and it's stretchy and it has no tags that I saw, but the tag, oh. So it's a size extra large. It is nylon and spandex. The brand it looks like is Shamira. Anyways, it's just really stretchy. I'm sure it would fit me now. It doesn't look like it in here, but it's just, it's really stretchy. So it's something that will kind of add a little bit of support not necessarily a full-on um, shaping tank top, but it will do a little bit to smooth out, like, you know, this kind of stuff. Because obviously I'm not wearing anything right now. So, loved this. This was only $8. Love. And then the last thing I got is this top from Banana Republic. And it is long-sleeved with a little bit of a cowl neck. It's got this asymmetrical hem across the front of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right here. Um, and it's just a really soft, slinky material. I tried it on. It's too small right now because it just like hugs every single thing on my body. Maybe if I was wearing that little tank top underneath it, it would work. But it's just like skin tight right at the second, right at the moment. But I have actually a top like this in like a two or three X and I actually wore it a lot. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I like to wear black. <laughs> so I thought that this was something I would totally get a lot of use out of. I could see myself wearing this with like a colorful skirt and black tights over the winter. So like, Like this skirt, I think would go well with it, or like uh, that's not it. Like this skirt, I would totally do that with black tights and black shoes. So um, yeah, so that's everything I picked up um, today and yesterday at both thrift stores and consignment stores, and I just wanted to share with you guys. I love you, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.